So I came across this new application on Twitter the other day called um, CopyGoder. I watched the demo, I was just blown away by how um, amazing it is, like how quickly you can stand up some uh, prototype applications. So I got a quick subscription and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and build this uh, inside of Cursor. So it's it's a, a tool to combine uh, instructions quickly into uh, into Cursor, okay? And so Cursor is like a new development tool, um, really democratizing development for everyone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a um, design that I quite like, and we're going to try and rebuild it in some way. So let's just let's just grab this one, okay? So I'm going to just expand this a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to grab a screenshot of it. Okay, this is this is just me testing it out. By the way, I haven't really used used it that extensively, so might not be a perfect implementation here but we'll, we'll just give it a go so and then i'm going to go choose choose image i'm going to grab that image okay and then uh generate generate prompt here so what it does is getting documents uh documents and files uh, set up for us automatically uh, within for cursor specifically for the cursor a composer agent okay so we're just gonna just see how far we can get, basically. Okay, so it opens up this, it says, generate prompt, how to set up in a cursor project, create detailed components with these requirements. Yep, okay. Um, okay, then I'm gonna go generate page structure. So all, see, see, it just lays out all of these things perfectly for you very, very quickly, which is incredibly helpful, right? So, so much of the setup of these um, tools is about, okay, so I've got cursor here, and then I can download prompt file like so. Okay. And then this is a this is a new thing I believe so with authentication. Okay, run this command in your terminal. Okay, so copy commands. Okay, so then I'm going to come to cursor, and what I need to do here is I need to open a folder. So I've got um, testing. What I'm going to do actually is create a new folder here. I'm going to go. Copy coder demo. Okay, I'll just grab that and then I'll select folder. Okay, and then I think it's control L, yes, so control L. Just make this a little bit bigger. And then composer, and we want to make sure we're selecting agents over here as well. So agents. Okay. Okay, then open up, uh, it says to open up my terminal. So I'm gonna go new terminal here. Okay. And then I'm gonna paste, paste that in, right? Okay, so what this is doing is it, it is gonna create some, some folders for us and it's gonna grab them from within copy coder. Okay, so I just push enter and you'll see here it'll start building, it'll start building it up for us. This is incredible actually. Okay. Um, come here and so we've got you see here now we've got um, initial prompts page routes so it's, it's basically brought it all in for us which is huge just huge okay okay and then we go to um, we start and then we just go to the composer we go please start essentially just just do a quick review of like what's going on here so okay so it sets up all this i mean this is incredibly powerful like to be able to do all of that just automatically based on a screenshot is, is so useful i mean imagine trying to set this up all yourself okay initial prompts okay so let's set that up for us as well it's huge okay page routes yeah see it's just sort of laid it all out for us it's so so powerful Oof. Okay, so this is super base. It's setting up a super base um, app for us as well. So we can get into that, but and then I go, please start. Okay, and then submit.
Okay, so make sure that you're actually on the agent as well. Okay, the agent is, is, is key. Okay, because it's basically saying exactly what to do. So based on the provider requirements, I'll have you set up the Sneak.js project with TypeScript, Tailwind, CSS, and Superbase when you start by creating the project structure. Okay, so run commands. Okay, so why yes. See here that it's actually doing a lot of the terminal commands now automatically for us, which is just huge. Okay, so what we're going to see is it's going to build out this application for us automatically. So a lot of files are going to get created. So you see all this is being done for us. I mean, this is. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't start like this now. Like now that I've seen this, this is incredible. At least it gets you going, right? Like you can always, um, okay, run command. You can always come, you can always adjust, right? But at least it gets a, a full application started for you very, very quickly. Okay, Superbase, yeah. Okay, so I use Superbase for all of my databases for my apps at the moment. Uh, it seems to be sort of the go-to for those getting into AI first development. This agent is incredible. Just going one after the next. So it's just going through step by step all of the things, like all of the things that it's set to do already set up. Wow, I haven't even done anything so far. It's pretty amazing. So it's creating a sign in and sign up page for us now. So this is this is also, you know, these are things that you would have to do by yourself. Now that I'm using this and seeing this, I'm sure that you could probably extend this even more. I mean, you could do like multi-page websites very easily. Wow, oh, okay. This is crazy. Okay, so it's still going here. I mean, the agents, this, this agent's unreal. I mean, how much it's doing all at once. Okay, so it's still working away there. So if we have a look at, look at all the stuff that it's done on the map. So the SRC here, so it's actually building the app out for us. Okay, so there's still a few things around like the pages, I think, so app. Okay, create a super base project. Okay. Well, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Just to get to sort of super base. Cool. What am I going to make this app about? I don't even know. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, 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 let's create a new one. So I'll create a new project. Choose an organization. Um, learn. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, Maybe, 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 maybe. Do I have one? I was creating one learn flow. What did I do here? I actually had one that was quite good. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab these, so I'm gonna grab my project ID here. So I gotta look for the EMV file. So public. This is this. 
Here we go. URL. Okay. So I'm just going to put it in here. And then this is the other one. So I've gotten a lot better at this over time. Okay. And then I'll just save that. And then just go. I'm just going to click out of that and go continue. Okay, so yeah, it hasn't even started. It hasn't even started building out the, um, the app yet. Okay, so it's just setting up the, the back end. I mean, man, if you could also do a back end here. I mean, this is, this is crazy. So let's have a look, um, initial prompt, okay, yeah, so this is quite, this is quite important, the project structure, so it's, it's going to build this out for us, right, so SRC components, yeah, so we want to see all of these done, right, course filtering and search, progress tracking, state management, routes, component architecture, yeah, wow. You think about how much you needed to know historically to even put all this together. It's incredible, right? Some really smart operators out there who are taking these tools and making making it even easier to use. And this is a perfect example, right? Like there's an ecosystem of tools being built up around these new AI first dev tools to make it even easier. Okay, so here it's just building out all of the components for us. So even if we can just like, you know, even if we can get, get to a point where we have something, you know, working and has authentication and is sort of somewhat workable, that's just a, that's a great starting point. Like that is, that is a, a truly great starting point to have all of this sort of locked in and 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 working. So it's building all of our components for us automatically. And if I come in here, so layout, header, navigation, features. Yep. Okay. So it's building all of those parts for us. I mean, it just eats this stuff for lunch. Or for breakfast these days, eh? Okay, user provided API key rate limit exceeded. Hmm. Maybe I need to. Um... Okay, I know, I know what's happening. It's, it's hit, it's hit the um, cold on an API too many times. Continue, um, continue on, please. So it's, it's not me, it's um, yeah, it was, it was sort of more, I was, it was probably hitting um, Anthropic too many times. Hmm. It's interesting. Maybe I need to. Anyway, what I'll do, I'll stop my video here. Um, and I think what's happened is that my API key from Claude has probably run out of um, uh, credits or something like that. And so what I need to do is update that. But I think this is a good find. Like this is a, a seriously good find. Um, you know, from, from here, I can obviously just like code away. It's just set everything up for me automatically. Now I, I intend to play with this a lot more just to see what other things I can do with it, but that is amazing to me, how much it's set up. Um, you know, a lot of these other tools do similar sort of thing, but you know, as soon as I could create multiple pages, I could go to my favorite CRM app or any app basically, and I could probably get 25 to 30% done without having to really do anything, um, which is pretty amazing. 
you know, a lot of this still used to take like one to two hours, but this is getting it down to 10 to 15 minutes from what I can tell uh, right now. Okay, let's round off uh, and I'll, I'll look forward to showing you more um, around this in the future.